In this demonstration, we will display the management, automation, analytics, and troubleshooting platform for Cisco Nexus switches called Nexus Dashboard, which is included at no additional cost with an active Nexus switch license, whether Essentials, Advantage, or Premier. Nexus Dashboard can run on one, three, or six physical or virtual appliances, supporting from 25 to 1,000 switches per cluster, depending on the cluster size. If a higher scale is needed, multi-cluster or Nexus Dashboard Federation is also supported. After login, the network admin lands in the global view, where he or she can view the status of one or multiple ACI and NXOS fabrics and all of their switches. This is crucial as enterprises move into highly distributed environments, and Nexus Dashboard allows users to manage multiple fabrics, including remote and regional edge facilities, centrally and seamlessly. Global view includes the recent activity, correlated anomalies that impact the network and current health, advisories which alert users about end of support conditions, p-certs, best practices, and many others. In addition, an admin can quickly search for endpoints, interfaces, or any string across all of their fabrics for quick identification and troubleshooting, or can even ask questions using natural language to understand how different endpoints talk from a routing and policy perspective. Other useful information includes one-click access to the switch inventory, number of fabrics, interfabric connectivity status, and even energy and CO2 emissions. From there, the user can double-click on any fabric to view additional details. Nexus Dashboard streamlines the management of diverse network fabrics. Whether it's a legacy network with two or three tier designs using spanning tree protocol and VPC, VXLAN, or ACI fabrics. It could also be an IP fabric optimized for media networks or also AI optimized fabrics. Nexus Dashboard delivers unified and consistent management through a single, simple, and intuitive interface. Let's now double click on our AIML fabric where anomalies, advisories, endpoints, layer three neighbors, and more are displayed as part of the fabric overview. In addition, a quick analytics summary is performed for this fabric, which includes congestion status via priority flow control, PFC, and explicit congestion notification, ECN, traffic analytics, and others. This can prove to be very effective in proactively detecting congestion, latency, and loss for any service running in the network, including Rocky V2 traffic for AIML fabrics. Nexus Dashboard was designed to get the information that matters faster. Although the fabric overview provides just that, there are specific sections where users can drill down to view interface details in real time, including bandwidth, errors, and more. They can also go back in time to check for any potential interruption in the service and other statistics or anomalies. In addition, by clicking on the connectivity routes, Users can view the aggregated routing entries a fabric may have across all its devices, which can be very effective to quickly troubleshoot if a prefix is not correctly installed. Nexus Dashboard also reports any deleted or modified routes based on the user's time selection, and the same is applicable at the endpoint level, providing a simple yet effective way to understand how the network is currently behaving and how it has behaved in the past. Going back to the fabric overview, the user can easily view the health score of the fabric as shown by the anomaly score, which in this example reflects that there is at least one anomaly in the critical status. Upon clicking, a detailed view of such anomalies can be visualized, displaying what is wrong, what triggered this anomaly, what's the impact, and recommendations to fix it, based on Cisco TAC and technical marketing knowledge gathered throughout the years. There are different severity levels for an anomaly, all of which are described in the journey, going from critical major, and warning. These and other features can be easily learned through Nexus Dashboard's journey, which allows the user to go through the main platform functions with an easy description of their usage, accelerating time to adoption, and providing feature recommendations. In this case, we can see that there is a critical anomaly pointing to an interface going down, causing other anomalies to arise. Based on correlation, Nexus Dashboard will report one anomaly, but also display other issues that could have emerged from such root cause and its confidence level. Root causes may also include events, such as an admin shutting down an interface on the other end. Users can also customize their recommendations if needed and adjust the thresholds for different anomalies to be raised. From the fabric overview, the user can access an aggregated view for all CPU, TCAM, and interface utilization of all the switches in the fabric, 
or can directly go to a given switch and display the same information in real time. This allows users to go from the global view displayed at the beginning, where all resources and fabrics are aggregated, to the fabric switch interface or endpoint directly, always with a consistent approach, displaying anomalies and advisories where applicable. Now, if we click on traffic analytics within the analytics summary, we can get a view of the overall fabric latency, congestion, and drops, as well as its top services automatically identified. If we zoom into such services and categories, which can be customized by the user to easily identify them, we can continue to monitor congestion, latency, drops, top talkers, and more, without performing any further configuration. Traffic analytics continuously runs without any rule definitions made by the user, allowing network admins to view not only service metrics, but also connections between users and services reporting the same congestion, latency, and drops. Network admins can also trigger a troubleshooting session, which can tap into a client-to-server conversation to view the flow records as they happen in real time. This allows network admins to view latency, congestion, and drops at the fabric, service, connection, and conversation level, with the ability to view current and past statistics based on the user selection. Nexus Dashboard makes it easy to create new networks and associate them with interfaces and switches. Once in the fabric, click on Networks and create a new network. If using VXLAN, all the required configurations will be automatically deployed. All you need to provide is the name of the network and optionally a VLAN ID. Although not covered in this demo, it is important to mention that as part of the creation or onboarding of each fabric, the automation of settings such as BGP, VXLAN, AIML, fabric extension, and many more are automatically provisioned. Nexus Dashboard also provides an open API to perform all tasks available via the UI, including network creation. A cloud engineer could also use Nexus as code, which is an automation framework using Ansible and or Terraform curated playbooks to create and deploy fabrics, subnets, and other network elements and provide the same operational experience, whether delivering connectivity on-premises or in the cloud. In this case, we use Nexus S code to push VRFs and networks to allow hosts and workloads to connect seamlessly via automation. After the networking is deployed, we can see that the host gets connectivity on the network, allowing users to leverage automation to quickly deploy and scale out their environment. Search and Explore is particularly useful, especially in troubleshooting scenarios where an admin may receive a call about an application in a fabric from a given user. You can either type the server or client IP address or the fully qualified domain name. And as an admin, you get full visibility into the endpoint, including where it's connected and the services being offered. There is also a history of the stats, allowing the user to detect if there was network problems at either a present or a past time. And we also have the endpoint's IP history to learn about any moves or changes. Search and Explore works across all switches and fabrics managed by Nexus Dashboard. By integrating VMware, Kubernetes, or other virtual machine managers to Nexus Dashboard, users can visualize information on the host network adapters, operating system or hypervisor version, statistics, and others through the topology or directly on each fabric, which are relevant when troubleshooting virtual workloads. This plays a critical role in reducing mean time to innocence. Although this is the most popular integration type, integrations such as DNS, Panduit PDUs, AppDynamics, Splunk, and others are also supported to enrich visibility and troubleshooting. If a path is required to be traced, Nexus Dashboard can display this using connectivity analysis, which is part of the analysis hub, and allows network admins to simply type a source and destination IP address, such as the one used by google.com, and then visualize the path and any potential issues in between. 
DNS integration is also available in case fully qualified domain names are preferred to be displayed. Connectivity analysis will visualize the topology for the flow, but also do hardware data plane captures to validate if traffic is being received, and if so, what exact path it is traversing. If slowness is experienced in the network, users can quickly identify if it's coming from the network by clicking on network congestion, which detects whether there are PFC or ECN notifications, or by checking on traffic analytics for latency and drops that may also be affecting the network. With this, users can visualize the fabric, service categories, services, and connections affected by network performance, displaying the reason and the point in the network that is contributing to such experience. Each service has an anomaly score associated to it to indicate if there are any potential issues that would impact the application and its performance. In this case, we can see there is a service that is impacted due to buffering on the switch. By triggering a flow collection, the admin gets real-time visibility into the path the flow is taking, along with where the drop is happening and the associated drop reason. By using Search and Explore, Nexus Dashboard can provide answers to questions such as, can an element talk to another element? Or what VRF is associated to this interface, amongst others. In this example, we can visualize if certain endpoints are able to communicate to each other. And what policy and routing configuration exists to allow this. A physical and logical network map, or topology, of a fabric can be seen by clicking on the topology view from the overview section. And in this view, we can see physical and logical elements, such as the fabrics and pods, and allows users to drill down and visualize the member switches, the links between them and their status, the endpoints connected to them, and it also allows the user to search for specific addresses. By doing so, we can quickly identify how they're connected in the fabric and also use them to troubleshoot various problems in the environment. A network administrator can perform a pre-upgrade analysis to understand the impact of the upgrade before applying it, and easily upgrade their fabrics with confidence once they are ready. Nexus Dashboard can perform compliance checks based on validated images, as well as validation testing to ensure that certain areas of the environment are free of issues before proceeding with the upgrade. Once ready, Nexus Dashboard can automate an in-service software upgrade of all the devices in a supported and redundant manner. After the switches have finished upgrading, Nexus Dashboard will perform a post-upgrade analysis to verify that everything came back the way it was supposed to once the upgrade has been performed reducing risk and potential downtime. Nexus Dashboard can provide a live report of all the inventory across all fabrics, as well as alert if any of the devices are past hardware and software support dates. Furthermore, the platform can also forecast up to 18 months in advance what the conformance to these dates will look like. With this, users can anticipate risks and perform the necessary upgrades to the hardware and the software as needed. In addition, scale conformance is also reported to ensure that users are running under a Cisco-supported scalability guideline and framework. Nexus Dashboard has several other tools that can help network admins manage their network, including pre-change analysis, which simulates changes and the impact of that change before it's actually implemented. Delta analysis, which compares the configuration and operational changes between two points in time. Bug scans, connected tech through log collection, sustainability reports, and much more. Nexus Dashboard provides automation, AI analytics, and troubleshooting tools to accelerate innovation and minimize risk for data center networking. With consolidating management, consistent policies and network configurations, one or multiple data center, branch office, or edge locations can be managed by Nexus Dashboard under a common operational model.